first just just tell us about your situation. Uh, my husband is dis disabled, and uh, he's been sleeping on a wet soap mattress because our bed is gone, and uh, we're in need of a bed because my husband is disabled to where he can't get down up and off the floor off of one of those blow up ones. Uh, there's lots of people out here in need. A disabled family down the street that I'm friends with, both the man and the lady, he's had strokes and she is uh, severely disabled in a wheelchair and on oxygen. And we're trying to get help for them. We need help from volunteers to come in and get help get the houses cleaned out, help, just help with prayer, just help because uh, there's, there's too many families and not enough volunteers out here, but the volunteers that are here, the three or 400 people that are here helping are wonderful. They are giving us help and strength and guidance. But please, if you can, if you have any amount of time, please come in because this flooding has been devastated to thousands of families. And we, need, we still, it's an ongoing thing. It's not just over the weekend. It's an ongoing thing, pulling carpet out, pulling, wrapping what's left of people's goods. And trust me, everyone will appreciate everything you could possibly do. Do you, do you still have sheetrock in your house yes, that's wet? Yes, we do. We Are do. most of the people uh, in your neighborhood, do they still have the sheetrock? Yes, they up do. Where they need the sheetrock pulled out? Yes, where they need the... And has there's anyone, not enough volunteers for that. Is there any help for the elderly out there that you've... Some of the neighbors that you were talking about... Uh, I, have, I have seen them get some help. But right now, they still don't have beds. Some of them still don't have beds to sleep on. And some of them, they, they're not physically able to do the work that volunteers would be capable to do. And in my case, it's just me and my husband, and we he can't physically do it. And I'm trying to do it by myself, and it's just impossible without the help of Austin Disaster Relief Red Cross. But they are just running out of volunteers. And if you could possibly help, please understand that the need is great out there. It's not just that the flooding came and went. There is major devastation here, major devastation here. So if anybody can help, it would be wonderful. Please send your prayers and your help if possible. Is there any other questions yet? Just state your name for the record. Uh, my name is Kathy Morris and I live at 7312 Ladybug Street.